Hello, good morning. My name is Richard N and today I'll be guiding you through on how to create your first Zap on Zapier.com. And if you're new, I would, I would encourage you to, to help us subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, click on the notification bell so you get notified when I post the next video. Um, today, let us talk about just a few things about Zapping. Zapping is an automation that allows you, um, you know, create a bridge between two or more softwares. It works by first, you know, having you select a trigger and then also selecting a word and action. The trigger is, you know, you know, the trigger is usually the first point. Why the action is worse is the second point and zapier.com stands between them to create a what a bridge so you could actually say that zapier.com is more or less a mediator or maybe a mediatory platform between two you know between two uh different softwares it enables different softwares to communicate you know without stress so this is the environment and to create your first zap you are going to have to click on create. When you click on create, you're going to find zaps. This is just all you have to do. Once you click on zaps, you're going to give it some time to wait. You know, normally some people would like to start with this first boss, but this first boss here, I think I don't really like to go there because you see there is an, you know, you see there is an O. Oh. So the first thing you want to do here is to what is to select your trigger. You have to configure your trigger and when you're done with that then you can continue with the rest of the thing so you go to trigger this trigger is what is always the starting point like now we are going to create a trigger in such a way or we're going to you know to create a zap in such a way that whenever somebody sends us a file or maybe a picture or whatever on google drive we are going to receive a message on whatsapp so but you know we we, we can easily say that Google Drive is the starting point for what, for this uh, zap. So that means that automatically Google Drive becomes our what, our first point or our point A. Remember that zaps or creating a zap, you need a point A and a what, a point B. And in some cases, you, you can even add more what, more pathways. Like you can create, okay, if somebody send me a document, send me a gmail account and after 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 sending me a gmail uh after sending me a gmail then do what send me also a message on whatsapp so the first point is going to be your what your google drive list and the second point is what your gmail account and then third point will be your, your whatsapp so now let us do this one which is the very first one and the simplest one to do which is receiving a, a whatsapp message whenever someone send us a what send us a file on Google Drive. So the first point we select our trigger, which is what Google Drive. Now, when you select Google Drive, it's going to require you to do some certain things, and you need a what? You need an event. Now, what is the event? The event is that when a new file what gets into our Google Drive, that is the event. Like whenever this event occurs, then do send me a WhatsApp message. So we have selected the event. Your next action is to say what continue. Now we are going to connect your Google Drive to what to Zapier. And how do you do this? This you can do by simply signing into your what your Google. That that particular account that you want to be receiving Google messages from or maybe Google Drive messages from is what you are going to what to connect here. If you connect a wrong uh, Gmail account, you're not going to get any any zaps on your phone. On your WhatsApp, whenever somebody sends a message, because nobody's going to send you anything. But when you select the correct one that you know is going to be used to send you a message or to send you a Google Drive file, then you're going to get a mail. So let us say, okay, connect Google Drive. We say sign in. When you sign in, you're going to select the account on which you want to receive the words, the message. So I'm going to say, okay, whenever somebody sends me on this email, so it's going to ask you some question you are allowed to edit and all that you say yes when you do that your account is going to be what to be updated here and then you click on what click on continue 
So now, now, what will happen that this message will come? Say yes, this thing is going to come on your Google Drive. So you click on Drive and then you select what my Google Drive. Now on this point, you simply click on what continue. Don't forget that this is still your what your trigger part. You are configuring your trigger part and you are now here to do what to test if your trigger is what is successful. So if your trigger you know, creation is successful, the next thing you're going to see is what is going to have what say okay, new file. I like using this file C, you can as well use file C, you can, you can as well use file B, you can as well use whatever, but I like using file C. Then you say what's well, continue with selected record. Now you're done with your trigger part. The next part is going to be your what? Your action part. Okay. Let us say Zapier is more like that thing that stands in between water and what? Two islands. Now for the two islands to you know to connect, they have to either what use a boat to pass or they will what they will swim. But now I want to put a bridge. Now let us say we have done finishing the okay, we know we are done completing the project from the first river down to the bridge. Now we have to go and do what now? Configure for the world from the second river down to the bridge. That is what our action being the second river and then our trigger being the what the first river. So now let us select our action, which is what WhatsApp notification because we want to receive a WhatsApp notification that somebody has sent us a file. So here now, what is event? The event is what? Send a message or send a WhatsApp message and then you click on continue. Now you're going to need to want to add the WhatsApp uh, account, which which means you, you say, okay, sign in. When you click on sign in, it's going to open up a place for you to enter your WhatsApp number. And you have, you know, you have to make sure that you enter the correct WhatsApp number because if you enter your wrong WhatsApp number, you're not going to receive anything. So this is where you're going to enter your WhatsApp number that you want to receive the what the message. So you're going to enter the WhatsApp number, but ensure you add the country code, which is plus two, three, four, because we are Nigerians. Then you're going to say send pin. When you click on send pin, it's going, you're going to receive an OTP on that WhatsApp account. I received my OTP and it is four, eight, nine, two, two, five. And then when you're done with that, you say what, you, you, you know, you, you simply say, okay, continue. And then it's going to confirm that you've what that you've added it. You see the WhatsApp has been connected here. So what you do, continue. Now the template is what you know. You want to say a new lead, or you want to say a new message. You want to say me. I like using this shipping confirmation. The reason I do this is because I know I get I know I know I get a lot of you know what, what, what I mean what, what other messages, but I want the one that can give me quick you know that can make me react quickly because I know. Sometimes I'm in groups, I'm in WhatsApp chat, I have channels that will send me a message that, okay, you know, but then which one would not make me to respond? So that's why I'm saying, okay, anytime I receive message about shipment tracking or shipping confirmation, I know that what, I know that I have done what, I have received a message from what, from my Google Drive, and then I'll quickly respond to go and view it. So here now, let us configure this part. So this part is, I want this thing to tell me the name of what the person that is sending me a message right say okay someone send you a message now now what is the name of the person i'll say okay select the person's word display name say okay select the person's name now tell me the name of the file you see this is the name of the file so i can then try to configure the message land say okay uh, you have a file by to tell me the name of the person and the file name is titled what? Titled this. Check now on google.com. Yes, once so when you are doing it, when you view this, you're going to be able to check the message on google.com. But do you know this is just for for formality's sake, okay? Just so you understand what we're doing here. So when I get this thing, I'm going to receive a message saying, you have a message by, the, you know, now the, the person sending the message and then the title of the words, whatever they send you. Now you're going to say, okay, check now on this. And then you say, continue. This is just all about zapping. And we're almost done, just, just a few steps away. So now you have to test if this is correctly done. 
And when you do that, you're going to see that, yes, it was, it, it was successfully done. You see, we have four checks here showing that everything we did was is correct. And then you say publish. When you click on publish, it's going to take some few seconds and then you are done. You are done. You see, you're simply done. And that is how you do what you set your what you create a zap. But then what I like doing again is I like naming my what my zaps. I will say yes. Um I was okay, I was okay. Um Richard and Zap. And you say enter. And you see, you are done. Now, when you go back to your home page, you're going to find your what your zap here. This is the zap you just made. You can easily turn it off or turn it on. And that is just how it is done. So please, I encourage you to share this meeting. I encourage you to share this video, share this YouTube channel with your friends. Those you know that are going to need this skill a lot, share with them so that they can find this very, very useful. Subscribe to the channel like the video you can just do us a little help just share it on your social media so that other people can also see what you're you know enjoying and then thank you very much for watching and uh, god bless you